Hi, everyone. Several workers say they were shocked after they were sent to the restroom to pray. And not long after, they lost their jobs. New at 6, a large employer here in Middle Tennessee is now investigating what happened. News Channel 5's Nick Barris uncovered the story, and these are Muslim employees. That's right, Vicki, who say they were discriminated against because of how and where they chose to spend their breaks. Now, imagine being told to pray over a toilet. There's now an internal investigation to determine exactly what happened. These men are now unemployed and back at the temp service looking for work. And I've lived here for 19 years in America. I basically grew up here, so don't think I should be treated this way, you know? Nine of them say they were shown the door Wednesday at Siva Logistics in Mount Juliet. They came here looking for new jobs, but say they never should have lost their old ones. Nine people was laid off yesterday because of praying. All at once? All at once. All Muslims? All Muslims, without no questions. We couldn't even talk. Was told, get out. It's transpassing. Omar Mohammed says he worked as a temp at Siva for nearly two years. At first, two five minute breaks for Muslim prayer was not a problem. They say they were provided a clean space, but then the company changed their policy in a heartbeat. They're telling us we can go use the bathroom and don't say you are going to pray, but say that you are going to use the bathroom. This is the first job I ever had to do this because of my religion. The men refused to hide their faith and say they then lost their jobs. Yeah. Top brass with the company tell me that they are investigating the incident to assure that appropriate decisions were made. And Kay Hart, a vice president, issued a written statement that reads in part, SIVA has an enduring commitment to support diversity and inclusiveness. This includes embracing religious diversity. We make every effort to provide accommodation of employees' religious beliefs. The layoffs, she writes, came not because of their religious belief, but due to their conduct at the time. If it was a non-Muslim, I don't think they would have the same problem as us. They won't let us pray. And Omar Mohammed says he sees other employees take breaks at various times of the day, and they don't lose their jobs. I, I do work with people who smoke. They take break time, they go smoke anytime they want to smoke. You have to wonder, is there a double standard here? Well, I'm told that late today, workers were called back to meet with SIVA officials, that the internal investigation did not take all that long. In fact, we've just received documentation. We're told that a decision has been made to, quote, offer reinstatement to these individuals. It seems if they accept, the workers, Vicki, will now, just after one day, get their jobs back. Did the company explain their change of heart? Not really. Basically, they said in addition to giving the workers their temporary jobs back, the company states, quote, corrective actions have been put in place to ensure that this situation does not happen again. All right. Thanks, Nick. First course. Those in the Muslim community applaud Siva's decision to reinstate the workers, and they hope the action encourages fair and equal treatment and inclusiveness when it comes to all religious worship.